the one true bird girl of League of Legends. I'm sorry, Quinn. To counter her, pick someone like Justana for her long range, high burst, and also the jump to get out of Feather's way. Misfortune's damage output, especially in the laning phase, is extremely superior to Zaya's, and Caitlyn can deal a lot of damage while staying out of the danger zone. Draven for his movement speed boost, Varus for his long range poke, and Callista for her cutting potential make other good counters as well. Zaya's passive makes her next three auto attacks deal splashback damage in the way of her full attack range and leave a feather behind whenever she uses an ability. She can only store up to five feathers at any given point though. Her Q makes her throw two feathers in a line in front of her that deal consecutive damage and get placed at the end of the distance traveled. Her W will grant her extra attack speed for four seconds and also cause her auto attacks to strike once more for 20% damage. Her E pulls all of the grounded feathers to her, dealing damage on the way back and also rooting enemies if they get hit by three or more of these. Finally, her ultimate will make her leap into the air, becoming untargetable for 1.5 seconds, and also place five feathers on the ground in front of her. In lane, the best way you can go around countering her damage is to actually watch where you step and stay out of the way of her grounded feathers, since that's where she'll get most of her damage and kill potential from. Therefore, you can go about finding her and moving sideways like this. In terms of spells, Zaya is most usually played in the bottom lane as the ADC, so she'll probably be taking heal like all other ADCs. As for power spikes, like most AD carries, she will shine mostly around mid to late game and needs quite a few items before she can really make a difference in a team fight damage wise. That being said, level 3 when she puts a point into her E and can make use of her passive is quite the power spike for her. The problem with this champion's passive is its need for the use of abilities in order to deal damage and CC enemies, so mana is quite the issue for her, especially early on. Essence Reaver solves that problem quite easily, and Fire cannon will also go around her short range difficulty. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, like most AD carries, CC will cut this bird's wings faster than Sonic, beware of her untargetability from her ultimate, and keep out of the way of her feathers as best as you can by fighting her moving to the sides instead of chasing her mindlessly. Ultimately, have fun doing it!